This is a rear uh, a seat that's rear facing, and it's recommended that a child stay rear facing as long as possible. And a lot of people think that one year or 20 pounds they should they should change it. That's not correct. That's a minimum. It's a minimum standard. It's recommended um, that they stay rear facing as long as possible. Uh, with the general standards uh, along what we call the belt, the belt path, which is where the belt is secured, you shouldn't be able to move the seat more than an inch. Less than an inch, you're within the recommended seat stand. And there's a lot to it, to installing car seats, and that's why there's technicians, and you can go on online and, and look up, and there's a tons of information to read and to learn. Okay, so you're putting that, that in there, so you, you're watching, what do you do? You, you shove it in there. You get the seat in, and you want to make sure that the belt is not twisted in any way. And you're going to locate the latch, which is this right here. And you click one side in. Click the other side in. Click the other side. Now you want to tighten the, the belt. And rule of thumb, you can, not everybody's able to do it, but you can get your knee into the seat and push down on your knee. Uh, you know, pregnant women, elderly people, they're not gonna, some people handicap, might not be able to do that. So what you wanna do is use your hand and push down on the seat and pull the strap at the same time. And you should be able to get it within the recommended standard of one inch. See, that's not, and that goes for the belt path, not back here. You're going to be able to move it in the back, and that's common. A lot of people get nervous about that. You're going to be able to move this back part of the seat. But down here where the belt path is, that's the one inch. Now, on this, this isn't an infant seat. This is a convertible, so it can go forward facing also. And most convertible seats will have a tether strap, which is located in the top rear of the seat. And that's going to secure whether you're rear facing, which when I show you the rear facing, you'll be able to see the tether. Or most seats will come with a, 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 uh, a latch that you can connect to the front seat and then you would pull this tight and that's going to help you secure and get the proper angle of the seat which should be like 45 degrees is the angle you're looking for. Infant seats will have an indicator on them it will tell you somehow whether it's um, you know uh, uh, level to the ground in some way it'll tell you make sure it's level and then when that is level the seats in the proper angle. Tighten it up and that really secures the seat. And it can be overwhelming with uh, as much information that uh, is out there about child passenger safety. Um, but the, the good part about doing this as a technician is most of the people that come to me uh, really concerned about the safety of their children and they're willing to learn and they want to learn and we're more than willing to help them in any way. So look forward to seeing anybody who's willing to protect their children to come see me.